this is because of the lower views, and today we're going to be reviewing Keys to Ascension 2. Um, so this album came out in 1997, I think. I think it came out the same year as like, Keys to Ascension, but I'm pretty sure it's 97, because But Open Your Eyes also came out in 97, but, um, this album we got, um, How, he wasn't on Talk, but I, I think he was on <coughs> the first Keys to Ascension, but he, he truly just shines on this album. I mean, all of the songs on here, they are just amazing, um. For example, the first song could be my favorite one. I almost said my best, but um, favorite Yes song, like ever. It's such a great song. So yeah, the first track is Mind Drive. It has a really mellow intro um, with a bunch of acoustics, sort of like and you and I, but the more mellow. <clears throat> then it kicks in with this bass and just dum 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 uh, what is that song called by Pink Floyd? One of these days. Yeah, it's like that, but it's not that. I was just making a reference. Then uh, it just kicks in with Anderson on vocals. Thank God he's on vocals. I mean, Trevor Horn is not a great vocalist for Yes. I mean, oh my God. He is so bad. He suits what album he was on, because Drama really was a great album. But yeah. So. And then it goes into this really mellow section. I mean, it's a longer song, but it's a great, great song. It has this really mellow section with how it's acoustics. I think it's acoustic. And then it kicks back and just goes insane. It's amazing. I love this song. Uh, white really killed it. Yeah, they didn't have Waitman. They used some other keyboard player. I think not. I don't know, Alan White. No, he's the, he's the drummer. It doesn't matter. Um, with how, it, yeah, it's just, it's amazing. I love this song. It, it could be my favorite Yes song, but I'm not sure if it is. Round, probably, cl Close to the Edge is my favorite song, because, I just love that part. It's so good. And then we have Footprints. This intro is awesome. Then everything, like I said this last time, but seriously, all these songs, they build up and just do this awesome middle part, and it's just great. I give this a 10. The lyrics are top-notch on this album. Um, and then we have Bring Me to Power. Starts off with a shiny intro, then the lyrics kick in. A great lyrics, by the way. Like I said earlier, the lyrics are the main focus on this album. Not for the next album. Um, yeah, so I give it a 10. I love the soul of how. Um, four, track four is, uh, Children of the Light. Um, this, it starts out with this awesome intro that, that goes on for a while, and it's a really cool intro. The lyrics are, are really good. It, and then it has this quiet section that's, like, Pink Floyd-esque, so. Yeah, it's a ten. And then, um, we have Sign Language. Um... It starts off with a, a great piano in, intro. Could be piano. I, it sounds like piano when I listen to it. Um, then there is an awesome solo with Hal. It's a great instrumental. I give it a 10. So, overall, Keys to Ascension, it is a great album. It is a, an also a very progressive album. Just like how Talk was a great, was a very progressive album. Hell, even Keys to Ascension is. The first one is really progressive, so I give this album a perfect 100%. It is a perfect album that I would give to a new Yes fan after they listen to Close to the Edge. 
I'll give him both of the keys to Ascension. Yeah, be sure to check out my subscriber list.